Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 27 of Horizon Zero Dawn. So, in the last episode, we, uh, we learned a lot. For example, about the existence of a Project Zero Dawn. And, okay, so it's... So I hear that is definitely a watcher. This is definitely somewhere. Also, that's the arm of a mental devil. Or as we learned in the last few episodes, a BOR7. Is it? Get the B O R seven Horus. There it is. Well, it's lots of data points. So the Titan must be a that thing. We got no mobility in here. It'll punch right through us. We hold the hedge at all costs, then push back out. We hold the hedge, then push back out. The battle frozen in ice and time. See something. Oh no, you don't. Grabbed a third side too. Looks like quite an enduring victory we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, I think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn. <laughs> if this is really it, I gotta say, it's been an honor to serve beside these tanks. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. Grease for contact! Grease wow. for contact! <laughs> Of turning, like crafting thing horses to. Wow. Are you getting this silence? Silence. So apparently, like the going into here makes like the voice lines of data points reset. Or at least that line. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing they kind of went out laughing. Operation I guess. Enduring victory. What did that mean? Whatever it was, it doesn't seem to have turned out very well. Mm -hmm. um, way back at the first Corrupted Zone, we saw something about Operation Enduring Victory. Titan inbound, same play as Akron. Base defense locks it down. We engage, <coughs> limbs, blast out the fountains. Another day in the life. Rickets You getting this? What is it? All these soldiers. They died here. People die all the time. I keep going and find something interesting. <sighs> the 
this stuff is pretty interesting. Status KIA. Yeah, like they had tanks in the bunker that were ready. Yeah, like, it seems that they died and it didn't work or whatever. Or something like they. They didn't manage to kill the thing. As seen by the fact that its arm goes all the way down here. This will come in handy. It will. of this hole. Oh, I love the way the light shines on that. <coughs> Must have been where the soldiers slept. Like the lodge in Mother's heart, I guess. Log. First battle of the Eastern Seaboard Wall. Had a long run up to it. This was before Kalmar, and projections were a lot worse for the East. For three weeks, we kept getting scrambled out to some coastal burb to train Minutemen. It was always raining on account of Europe already being torched. Block after block of prefab barracks. They were still printing barracks right up until the hour the main force hit. The Minutemen? We ran combat drills with them in the streets where they'd lived, trying to pretend they might live to die somewhere else if they paid attention. Nothing worse than the ones who actually bought into it. Hopeful, pestering us with questions about Zero Dawn, like we know something they don't. I swear, the more we do this, the more like the bots we are. Except they learn from every fight. And us? I'm not so sure. Wow, so... It seems that the Hearts Team or Swarm had... The end... Basically... It was the entire world against the Hearts Team or Swarm. And, it, and the world was losing. Log. Third battle of California Marine. The Swarm came in from the Pacific. And I don't know if it was the local Minutemen or the Crazy 15th, but they'd set the garbage patch alight. Man, the sea was on fire. What is this place? That stuff was... The first wave of bots came in covered in burning sludge. They bought us an hour or two of slaughtering them on the beaches before the swarm recalculated. We pulled them inland, back through the Kalmar sprawl. Dropped buildings on them, EMP'd the grid. Standard operating procedure. <sighs> the last time I was in California, I was... five, six? The light was like that vintage social net filter that was everywhere in the 40s. 2040s. 
Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes <coughs> fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. I don't know. Twenty drops. In and out of the West Coast, fighting with these civilian enlistees, scrappy guys and gals. Their training is basically, here's a DEW. When you see a bot, hit it. <laughs> but somehow it's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse at Lithium Beach. Pulled out before its buddies arrived, but to see a big one go down. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're gonna have a shot at turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs, and everything will be the way it used to be. So, I mean, they were fighting. I know, it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are uh, getting real long and tougher every time. The swarm is getting better at predicting us. Less of us now. And we have to put in ten times the work for everyone gone. Like a family business on hard times, only... This isn't my family. It's not with you. I still try to see you. The life we had in the eyes of the people out there. I remember when they were glad to see us. When they still had hope. It all seems to be slipping away. I don't even recognize the places we're defending. The only thing I know I'm still fighting for is... You. The Zero Dawn to turn this around? Whatever the hell that is. So, people didn't know at um what Project Zero Dawn was. Yeah, people didn't know what uh, what Project Zero Dawn was. All they knew is that it would save humanity. Recalls, I've been instructed to remind you of Article 115 of base policy regarding unauthorized use of processor cycles. Specifically, 115C. Any holographic simulation not directly related to operational training or efficiency. Consider yourself reminded, and enjoy your gaming. And it seems that people are playing video games. The furnishings were metal. How'd they ever get comfortable? It was the metal world. I guess they were used to it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Just one bed. Maybe they're war chief's room. Last night we got talking about DJ 55. Then. Where's log B? Where's log A? It's gotta be in here somewhere. I'm just looking at the uh, compass. Hmm. No, I, I, I don't see it. Guess you're going down. What well, another of its arms? <laughs> Seriously, like wow. light. 
guess that means no power. <coughs> These wires must run to the power source. Oh, that's informative. Air detected. Consult tech. A holographic interface. There must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature's poetry from the lips of Mike the GT tech now, did you? As usual, I defy expectations. So, what was that? So North Summer, and then so North, East, West, South. So North, East, West, South. Three power lines, three sources. That makes one. Uh, let's not jump down there. So up, up, down, down. That's two. One more. And then the last one was up there. <laughs> up, down, left, right. Power is out. Just need one more. And, uh, yeah, full of eclipse. Appears to be all of them. I wish I had the blast sling. <laughs> but, uh, I don't. It's them, alright. They're not looking for answers, just weapons.
Okay, so that guy's a Deathbringer gun. So yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm pretty sure I know where the last powers are. Oh, oh wait, no, it's in the other place. Put that down. Gonna come and, in uh, handy. Let's see here. Gray omen. Elf potion. Really giving a lot of healing stuff. <laughs> and, um, this is a big encounter room, or big room. But look at the size of this room. Like, look at the size of that room. It's a massive room. Like, this really is. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's like that's a metal devil's arm, or part of one. Yeah, here's that scrapper. Let's see if we can't find a use for this. With the first. Hmm. Oh, no, it can't, because this is the way we need to go. Whoa, we skipped one! We skipped a ledge. That's pretty cool. Sorry if I'm not talking very much here in this episode. Um. Edited and approved. I know it's been days, honey. <coughs> Deployments are uh, getting real long. We have to put in for work for everyone. Like a family business. I still see you in the eyes of the people out there. They were glad to see us. They still had hope. I'm still fighting for you. Sounded a bit edited. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. Fighting with these civilian enlistees, scrappy guys and gals, that's all coming together. It's 
between us and the sixth MRB, we took down the horrors. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs. Oh. Wait a moment. So, any other news? Heading out to the west coast, fighting these. Their training is basically, when you see it, so, but somehow it's all coming together. At a horse at Lithium Beach, pulled up before its buddies arrived. Just go down. It shows every. It shows everyone that we're we're gonna have a shot at turning this around. Time it needs and everything. It showed everyone we're turning this around. Wow. Wow. Status report. Ninth Mechanized Response Brigade, Commanding Officer Lieutenant Fiona Morrell. Unit Morrell continues to be adversely impacted by outbound engagements against the Pharaoh Plague. Especially when said engagements occur in sectors where civilian guard enlistees have been heavily engaged. The scope and nature of fatalities suffered by <coughs> civilian guard and unarmed civilians in these sectors defy description. And witnessing it is generating a pervasive sense of hopelessness in the unit. Accordingly, I once again request that deployments of the 9th MRB be temporarily refocused on facilities that are mission critical to Project Zero Dawn. And once again, I request an immediate update on the status of Project Zero Dawn's timeline. Wow. So there's that one. So there's... Ames, I know I mail you too much. I'm just proud of what you're doing. Everyone back home is. We got moved inland 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. School's still in session, so I get to keep my eye on Andreas and Reggie. We never know where or when you're fighting, but when the VTOLs go over, all the kids run out and wave. I believe in you. I know nothing's ever going to be the same, but I believe in you. Wow. I believe in us. Ames, I don't even know if you're alive anymore. The mails I get from you, they say they're from you, but they don't sound... They sound recycled. Phrases put together, and you don't say anything about the news I pass on. The containment zone, the rebreathers, the rioting, one earth. What happened in the Dallas bubble, Ames, that wasn't the robots. They won't even give me a straight answer when I demand to know if you're still alive. They just say if your messages keep coming, then you're still operational. It's not fair, Ames. It's not fair that you won't be with me when the lights go out. I love you. That's so sad. Hmm. Hmm. Did you miss one? Nope. Y yeah. SRC deployment records. All these operations.
So. Supply crate. And the episode does go for a little bit longer because I want to get the good thumbnail. What is this? That? It's a map. A map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? So that's where Hologram Myth plays. Whether it starts playing. It's ah. The controller disconnected there for a moment. So, oh, this can make a good thumbnail. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm ending the episode here. <coughs> so, yeah. Actually, wait, I'm going to wait for the earth to rotate a bit more. Um. It's oh what? We thought it was backwards. All right, and now up. Because when they step the field. Yep, very nice, and then... Okay. Let's see here. None. Vibrant. Um... Vintage None uh, Time of day doesn't matter Border uh, None And then, yeah. So, hope you enjoyed this episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. Have a good one.